morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back, everybody. To loving it on keto. Hey, everybody, how are you guys doing on the October Scare the Weight Off Challenge? Today is an 18-hour fast or six-hour eating window. Regular keto foods today, you guys. Use your macros and take a walk. Yes, indeedy. Hey, you guys. We are taking mom on a long ride. We're picking her up. We're taking Sally. We're all going to go on a really nice ride. It's beautiful in the desert today. But I've got a recipe that I'm going to make tonight when I get home. And I'll bring everybody with me on that segment as well. Now, I want to remind everybody that everything that you eat the day before, sometimes two days prior, can have a direct effect on your weight or weight water retention as well. Over-the-counter medicines such as Tylenol, Aleve, Naproxen, um, allergy medicines. Right now, I'm, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Allergy medicines and um, antibiotics, a course of medicine that your doctor puts you on. New vitamins even because vitamins have stuff in them, you know. Um, all those things can have a direct effect on your water retention weight weight loss, etc. So with that, you guys, I like this little thing's made. Look, it's the little um, eraser. You never knew that? No, just stays there. Well, I thought you did something special to the big board. No. Okay, you guys, yesterday was a fasting day. We had eight ounce chicken breast. We had two slices of the protein sparing modified fast pumpkin loaf. And oh my gosh, if you haven't tried it yet, go to the video, Harry and link it where we made both pumpkin loaf and then pumpkin, I call it pumpkin cake. When you frost it like that, oh my gosh, yeah, it's, it's a, heaven. It's a cake. It's heaven. I made the pumpkin loaf for protein spraying modified fast days. I made the pumpkin cake for the day after. Mmm, delicious. Either way you eat it, it's great. Anyway, we had six ounces of my pork chops, collagen, and two tablespoons key two creamer. We had a total of 2% carbs for a total of 5 grams, 29% fat for a total of 27 grams. We had 69% protein. Look at that, 144 grams of protein yesterday. Total calories, 872, so we were right on track. Not enough for me. Right on track. I need at least 167. 165. 165 You want to eat fat, one... Right? Not fat. I mean, uh, <laughs> so here's you know, the rule of thumb. Talking about. Here's the rule of thumb, but let me go over the weight and then we'll go over that because that's good that you said that, Harry. I went down two tenths of a pound, weigh 174. Harry went down two tenths of a pound, 167. We still need to get down to our all time low. Harry's hovering right about where he needs to be keeps bouncing all around that and that's okay you're going to fluctuate on a daily basis you really are and um well I'm learning about maintenance he's learning about maintenance but he's right so what is your perfect weight for you what do you want to weigh let's say I want to weigh 135 pounds I'm going to eat 135 grams of protein per day to keep up with what my body needs to be that weight. Then I fill, I put that in my macros, figure out what, what constitutes, what meats I want that day. And then I add a little bit of carb. If there is more carb already in there, I don't need to add any. If I need to add a little bit of fat, I don't want to add more than 30 total grams of fat on a protein spraying modified fast day. I don't want to eat more than 10 grams of carbs total on a protein sparing modified fast day. Now you look at your macros, your pie on your macros, and you eat 135 grams of protein because I'm going to weigh 135 pounds. Then you fill in the rest, your fat and your carbs accordingly so that it fits within your macros on your regular days. On your up feed or refuel day, refeed day, you add a little bit more than that so that um, you refeed your body, you refuel your body to get ready for the next week and the next protein sparing modified fast days. I hope that makes sense. But Harry's right. 
you need to be getting your protein in first. If you fill everything in with your protein and you figure out what you're gonna eat during the day, then you add a little bit of fat, a little bit of carbs, you're great. But the main thing is to eat your protein first. Yep. It really, yep. it, we have, you guys. High protein, guys, if, high protein. If you watch us from the very beginning, we started with the keto, you know, the high fat, moderate protein, low carb. We have done the egg fast, the beef fast, the egg be egg beef fast. We've done carnivore. We've done all of those bacon things. Bacon fast. You bacon did a fast. 30 I did day. 30 days of doing a bacon fast. So you guys. Nothing but bacon. But here's the thing we've learned throughout this. In the beginning, you do fabulous on a high fat, moderate protein, low carb diet because you're getting your body used to burning fat. So you're giving it what it needs to burn so it gets used to that. And as you lower the fat and raise your protein, your body is going to go, oh, okay, well, let me see. Where can I get some fat from? Oh, yeah. One has got some fat right here. I can go there and get that fat and use it for fuel. And then when the, when you've used all that fat, it goes, oh, yeah, there's some fat down here I can get, right? I'm going to use this fat, and I'm going to use it for fuel, and so forth and so on. So we have come through this journey with everyone, and we are finding that this lifestyle is working for us. It's working for us. Why do we want to change it? You need to find what works best for you and work it. We love having people on our challenges with us, but if it doesn't work for you, you need to tweak it so it does work for you. You guys need to work within your allergies, your inflammation, your um, if you have autoimmune issues or other bodily issues that you're dealing with and medications that you're on. You know, this is a protocol. We are not telling you what to eat. We're telling you in what order or how to use the food you are going to eat throughout the day so that we're tricking our body into releasing the weight. That's what we do. I've made some of my electrolytes today to take with me. I put some iodine drops because iodine is extremely important. We're not getting it in our soil. We're not getting it supplemented because we're eating whole foods now. We're staying away from the huge packaged things that potentially would be supplemented with it. Um, the one thing we do use for iodine is the Dulce granules. These are sea plant based but they don't taste like seaweed they don't taste like kelp they're not super strong they all have a nice light nutty flavor and one of our viewers said she takes this puts it in a homemade seasoning salt that she makes for herself with good salt and she says it's wonderful she doesn't even taste it and that way she's getting daily dose of iodine however you do it you can this is wonderful on fish and shrimp if you guys are fish and shrimp lovers, this, the uh, sea seasoning, main coast, uh, organic kelp granules. Harry, do we have this on our, on our site? Because they can get this on Amazon. So we'll put it on our site so you guys can go there and get it. Okay. Um, Bragg's makes sea kelp delight seasoning. And this smells more Italian to me. To me, it's got, well, it's got cross between, between Old Bay and Italian seasoning. It's very, very good. It's really good. This would be great in gumbo. If you guys are from the South and you guys have a gumbo recipe, let me tell you, this would make great gumbo. You have to change the roux because you can't have roux in the gumbo. But what you could use instead is you could use a package of the beef base um, keto chow. And then you could put a little xanthan gum in it and it would taste delicious. I love shrimp gumbo. Yes, I do. Just do it on a day where you can have regular macros because there's a little bit of okra in there and there's a little bit of tomato, uh, canned tomatoes. So you're gonna have a little bit of carbs in it, but it's very well worth it. Yes, indeed. My mom always made gumbo for my dad. Always. My dad was born and raised in Pascagoula, Mississippi. And my mom made us fried oysters. She made collard greens. She made gumbo. She made cornbread. We had grits on the weekend. 
Yes, we did. So, same Southern here. Southern girl and Harry's dad too, Georgia. Yep. Born and raised in Georgia. Anyway, you guys, hope everybody's having a great day. Harry, let's go to the big board because we're going to have to go pick up mom in 15 minutes. She's going to be ready for us. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm having problems with is my protein. i got to get my protein up, which means I might have to eat a couple extra slices of bread or something. I don't know. Yeah, well, that'll I'll work because it right? it's protein bread. Yeah. yeah. So I think what I'm going to start doing is that towards the end of the day, I want to figure out what my protein was all that for that day, and then I can supplement it. For those of you who don't know, Harry doesn't like to track. I track for him. Yeah. He gives me his phone, tells me what he has. If it's right or wrong, whatever he tells me is what goes in there. So if you guys yeah. see something I'm missing on our tracking board from the day prior, it's because Harry forgot to tell me. Or Marty was in charge and he forgot to tell me. So mm. it's, all, it's all Marty's fault. Yeah. It's always Marty's fault. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we're doing good. Yeah, we're doing good, though. See, like yesterday, we got I got 219 protein, and you got 143, so we were actually above. And that's why we both went down uh -huh. today. Uh-huh. I think so. And then here, I'm, calories are really low, too. Look, 870. Well, that's because protein sparing. 1540 for me over here, and you had 1214. It's because Saturday was a refeed day. Yeah. So we ate more, mm -hmm. and then today, yesterday was a protein spray modified fast day, mm -hmm. and now we're back to regular macros. So good, mm -hmm. good, because there's a, it's a huge difference, and our body is gonna hopefully move for us, right, right. in the right direction. Right. Hey, you guys! Yesterday's uh, video of chewing the fat, we did not one, not two, but three separate giveaways. If you guys are brand new, if you guys missed yesterday's video, please go to it. Harry will link it right here. Three separate giveaways. Well, I'll show what it is. Chow Club Box is hashtag chow. If you want the uh, chocolate keto chow with the beef base, the savory and the sweet, that is hashtag beef. And if you want the gremlin drops, the gremberry drops, it's hashtag gremlin. But here's the caveat. You need to live in the United States of America. You need to be a subscriber. And every single prize giveaway that you want to enter to win, you need a separate comment for that. One for hashtag chow, one for hashtag beef, and one for hashtag gremlin. The reason for that is, is the uh, random uh, picker algorithm that we use. We need a separate one with one entry per comment for that. So you guys, really go it watch once. it because I think it's a wonderful chance. And the neat thing is, is by doing three separate comments with three separate um, codes like hashtag chow, hashtag gremlin, hashtag beef, you potentially could be a trifecta winner. You could win it all. You could take home all the prizes or you could take home two or you could take home one. But that's what's so exciting about it. And... I am just really jazzed and excited to see who the winners are. But you guys can only enter by going to that video only and entering. Don't enter on this video or any other one because be those counting. will not count. You need to go back to the other one. One entry for one giveaway per person. Yeah, the title so, is... Um, three giveaways? Yeah, three fan... Three Three fantastic giveaways. Razors. Three, Harry will link we'll it. it. Harry will link it. Yeah, so you guys can there. go. Anyway, you guys, we got to get out the door. We're going for a ride. Sally, you want to go for a ride? Let's get your jacket. Here, I'll get our jacket. Come on. All right, Sal. Come on. Hey, lazy today, huh? You got a lazy day going? Yes, indeed. Take the lazy you take girl. Take your papa for a lazy ride. Lazy girl. You want to go for a ride? <laughs> okay, just making sure. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Let's tell everybody see you after the ride. After the ride. What you doing, Harry? You're at my office. What are you eating? Crisp free range elk. From Carnivore Crisp, show me. Mm -hmm. Aren't they good? 
Oh, yeah, you're surprised. I didn't think I would like the elk. Oh, well, you love the elk. Lori cooked mm -hmm. for us. Yep. Lori and Ron. Yep. So I'm here, you guys, doing uh, YouTube. I came to get all of my recipes that I do at work and put it on and pin it and all that stuff. So yeah. you guys have it. I just wanted to share because Harry's over here going, I'm hungry. I whipped out the carnivore crisps and look at his drink. <sighs> <laughs> I'm having a Pellegrino. Anyway, you guys, just wanted to share. Hey, everybody. We had a wonderful uh, drive. You noticed I'm dressed differently than I was earlier. It's because I spilled iced tea all over myself and I thought I'd better change my shirt before I came I, back. I liked the big brown streak going down, down the, my shirt. The yeah. good news is, is it was patterned enough that it kind of looked funny, but not as bad. This was not my week for wet beverages at the table. It was my fault this time though. Anyway, you guys. Neither was last week. We had a wonderful Or the week before that. Hey, Marty. Shh. Pay attention. Pay attention. Oh, sorry. Oh, we had a great time, didn't we, Harry? Oh yeah. yeah. Had a good time. Make your mind. Delicious cob salads for lunch. And we'll have we'll insert those that was very, very noisy. But we had cob salads. It was absolutely delicious. So anyway, you guys, I decided I want to make chocolate cake with orange frosting in honor of Halloween. And I want to make my cake as dark as possible to get the black and orange effect. And I'm going to attempt to do some things to the frosting. So I know, ooh, Harry's going. How are you gonna do that? Because John okay, well, we'll see. Just let me, let me, let me do it. I already have it all figured out. I have it all figured. Here's the deal. I'm gonna simplify my bread recipe, and there's two reasons for it. It doesn't need a lot of extras because I'm using two scoops of chocolate keto chow. When I used chocolate in the past, and I used a cup of the egg white powder and keto chow. It was drying. It had a dry effect, and I don't want that. I want a nice, moist cake, because you also use a half cup of cocoa powder, and cocoa powder is drying as well. So I'm going to do, I, I had to put my erythritol, because this is the monk fruit erythritol blend. I took a scoop, one, one cup, and I had to put it through the sieve, because you guys, it had chunks of that white in it. I remember now the bestie, monk fruit with the erythritol blend that I got had chunks in it and I thought it was funky filling and I didn't think about it I threw it in I mixed it all in and went about my business but every time I've gotten some out it's got the chunks in it so you want to make sure it's nice and finely sifted so I did that I've got 500 grams of egg whites in my bowl ready to go but before I mix that I want to get the rest of my dry ingredients in here and uh, go from there. So the egg whites, I'm thinking one third, just one third. I'm just gonna use one third. Just one third. Because I don't want it too meringue, but yet I don't want it dry. One third of what? Of the egg white powder. Did I not say egg white protein powder? One third cup egg white protein powder. That's what I wanted to do. Yes, know. and let me get a scale. Measuring out my keto chow. If I had packets, I would just put the packets in. But I don't. And I want to I want to weigh the grams. It's like it's almost 47 grams. So if I do 46 and 47, that'll be perfect. Oh, 
together. Zero that out. This one's going to be 47. Oops. I want to get precise because I'm dealing with a lot of dry ingredients. I don't want it to be too dry. Not too dry. Mm, that smells good. But as you can see, the cocoa powder is not that dark. Now, I'm thinking oh, no. since I have chocolate keto chow in it, I'm going to add, I'm going to fix this, quarter of a cup of cocoa because it's already got chocolate flavor in it. And normally you would add a half a cup. Now, here's the deal. Look at me with the camera. If you do not have keto chow, use two thirds egg white powder and a half cup of cocoa powder. If you have keto chow, use one third cup egg white protein powder and two scoops of keto chow chocolate with a quarter of a cup of cocoa powder because I want to get that cocoa taste in there. Yes, I do. Now, I'm not using allulose at all. And the reason for that, this is going to be a dark colored cake. So allulose, even though it has some sweetener in it, it's sugar. It's not as sweet as sugar. Why spend all that money when I have plain, excuse me, I've got plain stevia drops I can add if I need to add more sweetness. But I don't know yet, so I'm going to put that right there. Now, can I hand this to you? Can you put that over there? Let's see. But it's not dark enough. Here we go. I need a spoon to taste it with. I always taste my dry ingredients because I need it to be super duper on the taste side because when you mix it with the egg meringue, it dulls down the flavor. Problem is, is when you take this dry, if you inhale it, you choke on it. So you gotta yeah. be careful because it is very dry. Ooh. That's very good. I like that. Okay, I am using one teaspoon of xanthan gum, but before I do that, in this mixture, I am using a teaspoon of xanthan gum. Excuse me, tartar sauce is tartar sauce. <laughs> do not put tartar sauce in your cake. Cream of tartar, one teaspoon into the mix right here. I think Wendy likes this mixer more than her other mix mixer. I, love, the truth. I love this little mixer. This little mixer is awesome because I can pick it up and move it myself. You know how hard it is when you're like, honey, Harry, Marty, can you come move my mixer, please? And Kay. which one shows up? Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Plug it in, turn it on. 10 minutes on high. Okay, you guys did not see, but I added three teaspoons, so one tablespoon of the dark cocoa powder. Now this tastes like unsweetened Oreo cookie crumbs. It's got a totally different flavor, but it made it richer, oh, didn't God, it, yeah, Harry? Yeah, it did. It and it gave, gave it a little, little bit. bit darker flavor. I added 20 better stevia drops to this. He's putting it in now. I Not am putting it us. in. Ooh, that smells really good. Yep. Okay. Put, can I get down? No. Can I? No. Okay. I'm going to put this on so it doesn't poof everywhere. We want to blend know it. Poofing. Oh, major poofing right there. Major poofing. 
because there's a lot more. Uh, yeah, you got a lot of uh, uh, powder in powder. it. I did not turn it on to high because you guys, there is so much powder in here. So anyway, what I wanted to let everybody know is I just really am going to, uh, there's got to be one of you guys that's a real baker. Okay, my other hand is occupied. Uh, we just got to find the secret. I got the secret. It's called left-handedness. Actually, it's a little bit darker chocolate than I thought it, thought it would be. Oh, let's see. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. It's kind of pretty. You. It is. Just get this all incorporated, you guys. I was hoping that those drops were in there somewhere. Ooh, it's very, um, it's very pudding-like uh, consistency, thicker than the cake. I may only get one layer. Ooh, it's breaking down pretty quick, too. I've got to get it in. You've got me all kerfuffled up. Yeah, it's all my fault. It is. <laughs> it's going, what's all, it's what's on. going on? What's going on, dude? Are you I in think. trouble again? Yeah, did you say yes, oh, I am? Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Probably all the it's stuff. It's very heavy. Out. Yeah. And I just hope that it's uh, moist because that's the main thing. Now there's some darker chocolate in this. But it's not a pretty color. You know how I feel, you guys. Nothing is a fail. Nothing. Oh, I don't know. It kind of reminds you of the leather seats we had in that car once. What leather seats? Look at the leather seats in that freaking white car we had. We bought that car. <laughs> and the first day we had it, somebody ran into the front of it. Oh, because you were driving. That's right, the Acura Legend. Yeah. We didn't even have it five hours, and the lady was learning how to drive, and she slowly turned right in front of you, right onto the bumper. Yep. Yes, the bumper indeed. around the car. As Wendy's going, no. And they had no insurance. No insurance. None. Okay. That was way back in the way it does. Okay, excuse me. Let's put this in. Let's see how she floats. I think I'm going to change everything about my recipe. I don't think I'm going to use orange anymore. We'll see. Excuse me. There is no excuse. Okay, you guys. Read the ingredients, ingredients on everything. If you guys have black, Karen, the bakers out there, that you've used during your keto lifestyle that does not have sugar or high fructose corn syrup let me know which one is black black that works so we can make some halloween cake yes indeed come back you guys when we have cake the whole house smells like chocolate cake yeah it does it what? really smells oh, sally she says what you i guys smell doing? something in here what you doing huh? what's going on in here yeah you got to go for a ride today huh she got to do all kinds of stuff anyway I made my cream cheese frosting super duper easy, easy, easy. Use a block of Philadelphia cream cheese. You can use regular or one third less fat. Use four ounces of butter. Make sure these are both room temp. I put in one and one half teaspoon of the Cabela orange cream sickle. You can get any of the orange flavorings that you want. But that's what I had. That's what I used. And I had uh, orange stevia. And I used about, let me look at this, about a half of a dropper. About like that. About half a dropper. Then I used um, 
quarter of a cup of my um, unsweetened coconut milk. You can use cashew milk, almond milk, whatever kind of milk you use. Put it in the bowl with a stick blender. And as he blended, I'd pour the um, milk in a little at a time to get the consistency. I also used um, food coloring. I ran out of yellow and I didn't want to use more red because I didn't want it to get off color. So it's just a light, pretty yeah, I, orange I think, color. I think it would have turned pink. I, he, Harry thinks it would have turned pink with the red food coloring. I, we had organic vegan food coloring and it looked more pink than red once yeah. you put it in. And you guys, this frosting is awesome. It's awesome. Awesome. Anyway, I've got everything written down. We're going to pin it to the top of the comments. You guys, but we have to wait until it's published, until it's running. I make it up in the morning and do that. So if you don't see it right away, come back. Now the cake's fallen a little bit, but I want it to totally cool down before I frost it. So you guys, we'll come back when it's frosted. Chocolate orange frosted cake. Yes, indeed. And that's keto chow style, you guys. Oh, yeah. But it smells so good. Mm. Yes, it does. You guys, the cake fell, but it I just poured the frosting on top and kind of pushed it to the side because there's an indent all the way around, but it kind of looks nice that way. You know, if you really wanted to make it pretty, just cut off the... Well, yeah, you cut it and do all that yeah. stuff, but I want to keep it all because I want to taste it. I want to taste the deliciousness. Let's cut into this cake because I'm very curious. Excuse me, Harry. I hope we have... We did the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, we do. I'm sure Harry would like a piece, wouldn't she, Harry? Of course. Go I cleaned everything. <sighs> so, the frosting is not as pretty of an orange as I wanted because I ran out of yellow food coloring, and yellow and red make orange supposed to. Now, I've got my new pie thing. Do you think I should cut it with a knife? No, try with that. See what it does. Well, if I ruin it, then what? Well, then you know you can't use it for that. You should be able to. It's like a knife. Yeah, cuts really nice. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. That looks pretty yeah. good. Oh, look how dark it cooked. Oh yeah, check it out. It did cook. We I added those uh, that dark super black cocoa. Uh-huh. Okay, let me get some more. Let's go this way. Still slightly warm. Well yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah. Oops. Oh, that's good. Just do it like that. That's fine. Okay, you guys, look, it did turn out darker inside. If I'd had a better red, I'd get it more orange. So you guys experiment with your orange frosting, but let's take a taste test, shall we? Harry, let me get two forks. Okay. Here's the deal. I used that uh, black cocoa to give it a denser coloring. And this, I used one and a half teaspoons of the Cabela drops, the cr orange creamsicle. I ended up using one and a half teaspoons. There goes the refrigerator. Sounds like a snake. Yeah. I used this stevia, orange stevia. Man, is it good. Mm -mm -mm. So now let's give it a taste test, shall we? Mm. If you like that big orange ball of chocolate orange where you smack it and it slices off, you are going to adore this chocolate orange 
frosted cake, keto child style. Oh my gosh, it's yummy! Oh my gosh, Mama. become a Halloween favorite. Oh man, I just wish I had better coloring on the frosting because the cake actually turned out dark. Yeah, worked out good. Mmm. Okay, Harry, we gotta try it. It's really good, man. Do this one? That's sure, sure. Smell it. Yeah, man. It even smells chocolatey. It is. An orange. Mm -hmm. The citrus orange in the frosting carries into the chocolate cake. You guys can see that? I'm glad I added the tablespoon of the black cocoa into that because it really makes a huge difference. Mm, yeah, it just hits you. Just well, enough orange together. and the chocolate. You get that orange flavor thing going and the chocolate's in the back end. Ooh, that's really good. Isn't it good? Ooh, I need some orange pico tea with If you that. like orange, you'll really like this. And chocolate. Yeah. It's really good. Oh, yeah. Okay, baby. I like the way it drizzles. <laughs> yeah, I just poured cool? it on top and let it drizzle down the way it wants to. That's great. Okay, baby. All right. That is a winner all day long. That is delicious. Man, is that good. It's got that orange and that buttercream frosting and that chocolate is deep and rich. Yes, indeed. Mm -mm -mm. And it's nice and moist, but denser. You guys, this make keto chow makes it denser. Yeah, it does. A nicer, denser, it's more like, a, like, it's like cake. A cake. Just like cake. Yeah. So anyway, you guys, we're going to go ahead and close this experiment out. Sally, what you doing? Yeah, what you doing, baby? We'll get you a piece of liver in just a minute. Here. I got some cut for her. Her little, uh, the little sliders that we get from mm -hmm. Carnivore Dog. Yeah. Can you see it? Good stuff, huh? Mm-hmm. Got those cut for her. Okay, we are closing out the day today, you guys. Tomorrow is a protein sparing modified fast. High protein. Use protein as your priority. Limit carbs, 10 grams total. Limit fat to 30 grams total and move your body. You guys, we had that delicious chicken cob salad today. It was huge. We brought some home. We've got a container of it. So we're going to have leftovers. It was a lot. There was a lot. So to I'm expected salad. to be bloated tomorrow. Well, well tomorrow. I didn't eat as much lettuce as you did. You I ate did. a lot Boy, of your lettuce. I just loved it. I love lettuce. There was so man. much stuff on top to eat. It was I like delicious. iceberg lettuce. I think well, we had a lot of blue cheese on thing. it, though, too. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I did. Yes, indeed. I must confess. Other than iced tea all down the front of me, it was wonderful. I, it and ended, we had it a great was time. a wonderful day. It ended the day perfectly okay. with Wendy cooling herself off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Remy. Okay, everybody. Hey, if you guys want to make this cake, I suggest you do so. It's absolutely delicious. So, you guys, I'm going to link the recipe, but I can't do it at 12 midnight because I'm going to be asleep. So, I'll do it first thing in the morning, I promise. So, come back. If you guys watch it early, come back and find the recipe. Anyway, you guys, remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you right here tomorrow. Can you say goodnight, Sally? Say goodnight. Say good night, Sal. That's it? Okay. <laughs> She's such a funny puppy. Yeah. Okay, one more piece. One more piece. Okay, come on. Oh, she says It's not no. big enough, man. You gotta give me a big piece. Oh, nope, that's all done. Pop and I got cake to eat. Yeah, that's it. I got my cake, I'm gonna go eat it.